Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, there's something that's been tickling my interest recently and that is a tabletop arcade cabinet. And I've been wanting one of these for absolutely years, but I've never quite had the space for it. And now my circumstances have changed, now I've got a lot more room, so I've decided to build one. So, let's talk about this a little bit more. So what I've done here is I've built a little pro prototype in cardboard just to make sure that all my panels are going to be cut out correctly and fit really nicely. And as you can see, it looks really good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart, trace it onto some wood and cut it out. And once we've done that, we can talk about the components that we're going to be using. Now that I've traced my panels onto my wood, I've got two side panels which look like this. I don't know if you can see that very well. And I've got my bottom panel ready to be cut out right here. And I've already cut out my back panel and it's over there waiting to be used. So, I'm going to cut these out now. So with all the main panels cut out, what I've done is I've attached the bottom panel and the back panel together. This means I'm able to get my side panels and make sure that it's all nice and square and it lines up really nicely, which it does. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint this with a primer coat and just let it dry. And this is what I'm going to be using. So this is what it looks like when the main panels are screwed together. And as you can see, it's starting to come together really nicely. So the next step is to build a bit of a frame for this to give it some extra strength and stability. So I'm going to have one going up here, one going on the other side, and then down here too. And that should be more than enough. So now that I've done the majority of the frame for the main panels, it's time to start on the control board. So I've cut my piece out which is going to be my main control board and all I've done is I've glued these pieces of paper to it. This just gives me a guide on where to cut them out and how they're going to be aligned. So let's get this over to the drill and drill these holes out. And there you have it, there's the control panel with all the buttons and joysticks cut out. And I have to admit, this looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is give the top a coat of primer and then I'm just gonna let that dry. So there we go, this is what the control board looks like when it's all nicely primed up. And what I've done is I've screwed it into the main cabinet. And as you can see, it's all started to come together now. You can really tell what it's starting to look like. So the next part that I have to do is build this top bit right here, which means I accidentally made this a little bit too big. So I have to chop it and match the angle, and then we can get on with that. So, let's do it. Now that we've chopped this top bit off right here, it's starting to really look like an arcade machine. So, the next step is to actually build the frame for the monitor that I'm going to be using. And this is actually going to be quite simple, so let me show you how I'm going to do it. So, the idea to hold this screen up is actually pretty simple. So I've got this little back brace here, which the top of the monitor is going to lean on. And then what I'm going to do is build a little bottom brace out of this pine right here. So it actually has something to sit on. And when it's on, it will look something like this. So let's get that done. So that is what the bottom brace looks like. So now that I've got my monitor sitting exactly how I want it, there's only a few things that we've got to do before we realistically finish this cabinet. The first thing is to make a little panel that goes onto the top to enclose this bit. The second thing is to cut a nice bit of pine that matches this angle so we don't have this gap in between the monitor and the control board. And finally, is to cut the acrylic to size, because this is going to be our glass. Right, so let's get on with it. So now that I've got this top bit cut to size and I'm happy with it, this is going to be our access panel. So I'm just going to secure it down with four screws that I'm able to take out so I can take this top bit off. Right, so now let's have a look at this acrylic. 
So, with a little bit of persuasion, I was able to get this acrylic cut out and get it to sit really nicely. It's nice and flush against these curves, which is exactly what I wanted. Right, so now let's get everything in there, let's get it all tied together, and then we can give this a lick of primer. Right, so before we give this a coat of primer, I'm going to be filling in these gaps right here with something like polyfiller or resin. And I'm choosing to use resin because this is where people are going to be standing. So I've just finished sanding all these gaps, and if I run my hand along it, I can feel that that's completely flush. So now it's time to give this a primer coat. So that's the whole cabinet primed up, which sadly does bring me to the end of this video. Bear in mind, in the second part, I'll be installing the electronics and the firmware to get this thing running. So if you're interested, make sure you keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.